their lone representative. And so Pucha now uh, will be watching from the sidelines. I'm sure we'll get to interview her uh, at some time. So let's take a look at the highlights of the day. The day started off with perfect, perfect waves. And uh, look at this wave. This is, it was so clean this morning. Yeah, that's a beautiful wave here. Too. Super nice waves here today. I mean, green water, nice little oh, barrel oh, section oh. coming out clean into a nice top turn there. Beautiful waves been ridden today during the whole day of competition. So uh, for all you folks looking at us right now, and there's Lane, Beachley, our seven-time world champion, and uh, really linking it together. What a great surfer Lane Beachley is. It's such an honor for, for us to have her here in this competition. And uh, here's uh, from, uh, from South Africa, and really making really good turns here. Going inside was Heather Clark from South Africa. A great surfer. She hasn't uh, uh, lose a heat in the Masters divisions yet. So uh, in the last two years. And the last two years, yeah. Done really well. So we uh, we saw the, the Grand Kahunas, now the Kahunas, and uh, the Grand Masters. And uh, look at this wave, Shiber from, from Costa Rica. This is from Costa Rica. Shiber Tequila from Costa Rica. Just taking it to town. And good surfing here by Shiber. And uh, you did a comparison of the, the uh, what, 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 did, what did you call uh, it? NR, uh, Mark Richards, the, the Mark, Wounded Seagull. The Wooden Seagull, yes. I remember that when I was growing up. I saw a couple of videos that my dad used to have of Mark Richards. And uh, definitely a very unique style for sure. And this is our surfer from Trinidad and Tobago who really lit it up. I and mean, look at these turns, just beautiful turns, a lot of spray. And uh, Trinidad and Tobago putting in a great competition. Oh, look at that. Yeah, this is uh, from Australia here. Uh, really good surfing today. Big hacking turns, throwing a lot of spray into a floater. Beautiful written wave here. And uh, from the USA, beautiful turn there. A lot of speed. Controlling all that speed, he's riding that four fin with the little fin in the back, and uh, that's what Kelly Slater actually is, is uh, riding now. Beautiful ridden wave here, and uh, what a what a great day of competition! Really good wave, really good surfers. This is Carlos Cabrero from Puerto Rico, hacking it off the top here, getting a lot of points there, and actually he uh, won his rapid charge heat, advancing to the third, and then. Hard off the bottom, you can see how good the waves were throughout the entire day, and uh, incredible surfing, as you mentioned here, at the legendary point break of Punta Roca. And uh, then we finished off with the uh, women's masters. So uh, it's been a great day, Jimmy. For you, uh, what was the highlight of today's competition? Uh, I really liked Blaine Beachy today. She was just on fire today with that eight-point ride that she had, man. It was it was incredible surfing by our seven-time world champion. Alan Sardo did a really good job today to Carlos Cabrero, but I think personally for me, Lane Beachy was the phenomenal surfer out there today. Well, it was a great day of competition. Thank you very much for joining us here uh, in El Salvador at Punta Roca for the 2011 ISA World Masters Surfing Championships. We will be back here tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. sharp. We will be kicking off again, and we have a full day, another eight hours of competition, and we're really starting to narrow it down. We lost 40 surfers today. We've seen some countries already eliminated. Panama is out. New Zealand is out. There will be other countries that will be uh, under threat of being eliminated. So we'll start to see the score lines come down, and we will start to see where the main contenders are positioned in the field. So thank you for joining us. On behalf of Jimmy Rotherham, uh, Otto Perez, uh, thank you for joining us, and we'll see you tomorrow. Right